Hi there, welcome to my channel. So today we will see in this today's topic how to use a CLI in order to use the Amazon text extract. So in this one, we will first, in order to use the text extract, we will be creating one bucket and then we will upload some files, image files to the bucket. Then we will see how does it works. But before making a bucket and uploading the files, we have to make it sure about the region because text extract work in few regions so that we can see it from the web console in which regions the currently the text extract is working and with which region it supports as well as we have to give the IAM user access to that particular bucket in order to see the IAM user and how to get the access how to give permissions to the CLI you can watch my previous videos in which I have given the description about all those things so i will move on to my console cli so you can see i'm already logged in if you have any trouble logging into the cli you can watch my previous video i will share the description of the video i will share the description in the link below so you can check that one so let's create a bucket first So before moving to the creation of the bucket, I just want to show you the regions that is being supported by the text extract. So you can see here. You can see these are the regions that are being currently supported. So I'll be creating a bucket in the Asia Pacific Mumbai region. Then only I can work on this text extract so let's move on to the CLI now here I will create a bucket AWS S3 MB that is a make bucket S3 colon and your bucket name should be unique so I'm putting over here S3 text extract one to one then I can have to define the region because I want to in the region in which the text extract is supported so region I am using Asia Pacific hyphen south hyphen one so it has made the bucket so I can use the AWS S3 ls command in order to check my bucket so you can see over here s3 text extract one to one bucket has been created now next thing that we are going to do over here is to upload some files for the analysis part and the text extraction part so let's upload some files so I have created a directory in which um, my files are there. That is a bucket files. So I will just write it over here. AWS S3 CP as the copy the files. And it is the F drive. Let me check the drive. Yeah, it's E drive, not F drive. So E drive colon slash bucket files then slash my bucket name that is s3 text extract one to one then slash hyphen hyphen recursive I'm using because I want to upload both the files in one go then I'll define the region AP that is Asia Pacific south hyphen one so you can see both the files has been uploaded you can verify with your console also let's go to the Web console S3 
now my bucket name is s3 so you can see both the files are present over here okay now let's move back to this one now we will first analyze the document so i'm writing over here aws text extract analyze my document i will copy this commands in the description also because these commands are quite big then we have to provide over here the bucket name if you are using windows you have to make it sure um, we have to put this escape this quotes otherwise it will give you some error Then we have to put the bucket name S3 text extract. Then I will put the file name so my file name is let I will check in the bucket if you want you can check it over here capture.png make sure you put the case correctly capture.png then we can define over here what are the features that you want feature types this is basically a feature that we get while using it like table format or you want it in the forms Then we have to define the region of our bucket. So now from region AP hyphen south hyphen one. I hope everything is correct. So there is some extra spacing, I think so. 
let me check. AWS text extract analyze document hyphen hyphen document. And then we have the F3 object. Then we have the bucket. Then we have the bucket name. Then we have the object that we wanted. Feature types, that is tables. Here we have the list of, after the tables, the slash, the forms. That's correct. Name must be one of the bucket version. S3 text extract. Okay, there is one small spelling mistake over here. That is instead of name, I have written name. Now you can see over here, uh, document pages, one blocks, and it is giving it a whole geometry of the document, height, width, and all, and how much x-axis, y-axis. You can press the space button to get more information. And what is the relationship? So basically we are analyzing the document. So it is defining the text as well as what is the geometry, whether it's a bounded by a, uh, a bounding box, is there a polygon. So you get all the information. So this is basically for analyzing the whole document. So it gives you all the information about the text as well as the shape or what are the like uh, content away or what are the relationship what block type row index column spacing and all everything is mentioned so i'm just using control c okay that was about the analyze same command just with a small change we can use to detect the text inside that picture so instead of that analyze we will write it over here just we have to change it over here detect document hyphen text that's all we have to change rest of the things will remain the same If you want, you can remove the table and forms if you want, or else you can run it like that only. So it's not accepting. We have to remove this forms extra because we are not analyzing the document. We are just reading the text. So we need to remove this feature from here. So you can see it will give you the all the details about the text. It's giving you only the detail about the text. Similarly, we can try with some other image. So instead of that, let me put some other image over here that I have in my bucket. Sample dot Let me check my bucket first. 
yeah sample.jpg that's all we have over here information So if you see the uh, picture, I will show you the picture that we are analyzing. So these were the two pictures basically, sample.png, jpg. So this text is there, plus if you check over here, so we were getting this text over there. So this is how we can analyze using the CLI, we can use a text extract. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. In the upcoming videos, I will show you more about the command prompt as well as I will try to upload some IAM when the bucket policies and how to use the policy generator. So please do watch my videos and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.